What is happening guys, it's Major Noob Gaming here and a little off topic, I know I haven't been uploading for over two months but I am back now and I'm going to try my best to be regular in uploads again. Anyways, today we're going to be counting down the top 5 games for low end PCs with bad graphics cards at the moment. I hope you guys enjoy this list and video. Coming down to number 5 is Rayman Legends. A beautifully crafted game world, a cheerful soundtrack and a near perfect addicting platform gameplay makes this one a must own, especially for fans of platformers. Coming down at number 4 is Papers, Please. It's a puzzle game where you play as a border control officer for a fictional country. This may sound boring, but Papers, Please never fails to surprise, always introducing new gameplay mechanics as well as unforeseeable surprises. Taking the number 3 spot is Shank 2. Probably one of the most underrated violent games out there, Shank is an action platformer where you just... Well, shank people. The game is gorgeous, and with its comics-inspired art style and its amazing boss battles, the game is always fun to play. <laughs> Taking its number two spot on this list is Half-Life 2. It's possibly one of the best shooters ever made, and Half-Life 2 has not only aged well, but it's still unrivaled today in terms of gameplay physics, atmosphere, and narrative. You might need at least an Intel HD graphics card to run this one at playable frame rates, but it's infinitely worth it. And finally, taking the number one spot on this list is Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight is a platformer that takes you back to the 8 and 16-bit era of gaming. Everything about it is rather excellent. Its retro-style chiptune soundtrack is charming yet lively characters, and its challenging yet fair and engaging difficulty will keep you coming back for more. Anyways guys, that's all there is for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, and if it did help you pick a new game from Steam, please be sure to click that like button and even subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.